Hey everybody, this is Dr. Jeff Cumro at Nebraska City Chiropractic, and I want to talk to you today about autoimmunity. Many of you know this is one of my favorite topics. You know, unfortunately, there are more and more autoimmune diseases every day, and there are more and more people being diagnosed with those autoimmune diseases. An example of autoimmune disease would be multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Um, there, there are many, many of them out there, but basically it's where your body's immune system attacks your own body. It, it misreads the representation of what your body is, and it attacks your own system. If your immune system is attacking you, then you know, you're not going to be as healthy as you should be. A, you're wasting a lot of energy running an immune system that's doing something it shouldn't be, and B, your body's being attacked. We need to change that. So what, what I want to ask you, do you think it's a better approach to cover up the symptoms or to actually get to the root of it and get rid of the autoimmunity? And I, Now, when I say get rid of the autoimmunity, it's getting rid of the immune activation because people who are autoimmune are always going to be autoimmune. There is always going to be um, you know, a regression on something like this. So just because you go into regression doesn't mean you're not autoimmune. You're still autoimmune. It just means your immune system is not attacking your body right now. And this is one of the big things that, that drives me crazy. You know, my experience with, with my thyroid autoimmunity is I went to, to my medical doctor and they gave me thyroid medication. Wasn't real happy with that prognosis, so I went to another one. And they said, stay on your thyroid medication. You're gonna be on it the rest of your life. So, you know, that's a little discouraging, but after 13 years of searching, you know, somebody asked me the question, is your thyroid the problem or is your immune system the problem? And it's something that I had never really thought about. You know, I knew my, my thyroid wasn't working the way that it should, so I thought my thyroid was my problem. But it wasn't the thyroid at all, it was actually the immune system. The immune system was attacking my body, and as soon as I did the different things to take the stress off my immune system, you know, getting plenty of sleep, getting some rest, um, eating correctly, different things like that go a long way in decreasing your immune activation. As soon as I took the stress off my immune system and things weren't attacking um, as much, it wasn't excited, then my thyroid problems got better. And I haven't been on medication for four years now. So it's it can be done, but we want to attack the root problem. We don't just want to give you something that covers up the symptoms for the rest of your life because that doesn't do you any good. That doesn't make you healthy. And this is the big reason why people with one autoimmunity end up with two or three or four different autoimmunities because we're not doing things in the system that actually decrease the immune activation. As your body keeps attacking your, your body, things break down further and further. The function disappears. And as that function disappears, your health disappears. And as your health disappears, things add on faster and faster. It is a big, big snowball rolling down a big steep hill. And that's something we have to change. So if you have an autoimmune disease, think about it. What are you doing for the treatment? Are you covering up the symptoms? Or actually you getting to the root of the immune activation and making a change for yourself, for your future, allowing you to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy. I love you guys. If you have any questions, please call the office, put them in the comments below, whatever you need. We're here to help. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.